Hey guys, how's it going? This is The Stupendous Wave, and in this one, I would like to share with you my top five most anticipated dinosaurs. They are supposed to appear in Jurassic World. Now, I know some of these might not appear, although I am crossing my fingers that they all will. And also, I am not putting Spinosaurus on this list because uh, Spinosaurus, we haven't seen it on the website. Uh, no one's really talked about it a whole lot. Uh, as far as uh, producers and directors and cast members. So if Spinosaurus was in the film, and we don't know that it's not in the film, but if it were on the website and stuff like that, it would definitely be on that list. But since it's not, I decided to leave it off. But if it were, like I said, it would definitely be on this list. So anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, I, let's start off with number five. So at number five, we have the Metricanthosaurus. Now this is an extremely, extremely unique dinosaur. It's going to be amazing to see a dinosaur that we haven't seen before. I'm super, super excited. Uh, it looks very, very dangerous. It's got a high aggression index, which means that of course it is extremely, extremely aggressive. And I really hope, crossing my fingers, that we get a quick scene of it attacking either another dinosaur or a person and I really, really am excited to see this. It's the perfect size dinosaur to me. Really, really not overly large, but still a large, large dinosaur. And I really, really want to see it, some action with this guy. Uh, one of my, if it is in the film, no, no matter how quick it is, I'm sure it will be a highlight. So at number four, we have the Velociraptors. Now, I know this is very high up. To put the Velociraptors or low depending how you look at it but I love the Velociraptors it's my favorite depiction of a dinosaur in the Jurassic Park franchise it's just something that we've seen uh, three times already so but nonetheless I'm very very excited to see it I'm excited to see the new direction they take it with the semi-trained Velociraptors and I'm super excited to watch them hunt the Indominus Rex I think that I think that's going to be a super super awesome part of the film so Velociraptors number four really excited in the direction they're taking it so at number three we have the Suchomimus now this thing looks so cool we've seen uh, the concept sketch on the Jurassic World website and it just looks fierce it looks like a beast uh, it's one of the scary scariest looking dinosaurs that I have ever seen before and I'm super super excited because, like I said, it's large. It's something that might be able to tussle with the T-Rex, although it might lose or probably will lose. It's still awesome to get another dinosaur of that size caliber, something that is just gigantic and something new, similar to Spinosaurus, but different. And it's also going to be extremely interesting to see it hunt in the water if we do see it. I would love a scene where it's in the water. Uh, because we do know it's on the Cretaceous cruise area, so that would be really cool. I cannot wait to and crossing my fingers that we'll see the Suchomimus. So at number two and number one and number two, I switched back and forth. I really couldn't decide. I had a very very hard time, but finally I came to the this conclusion. So at number two we have the Indominus Rex. I'm very very excited to see the Indominus Rex. It's a new dinosaur. It's a dinosaur that we have no recollection of anywhere because it didn't exist before, but we just got to immerse ourselves and play like it is a real dinosaur. And it's the only animal on the Jurassic World website with an aggression index at very high. And it just looks so, so intimidating in the trailers. Probably the second scariest dinosaur that we've ever seen. Well, it is the scariest dinosaur that we've ever seen. But in my opinion, the pterosaur is just, uh, not the pterosaur, the dimorphodon is slightly scarier, although it's not a dinosaur, it's a pterosaur. But yeah, the Indominus Rex, wow, it's got that red eye, it's large teeth, the jaw that unhinges and can just go at 90 degrees and just swallow people whole. It's going to be so cool to see the Indominus Rex, it looks so terrifying. So at number one, we have the T-Rex. Now I am extremely biased. We have, because it is the original T-Rex, we haven't seen the, the t this T-Rex since the very first movie, and it's going to be amazing to see her return. 
I really hope that there's a fight between the Indominus Rex and the T-Rex. And I just got to... Uh, the thing that gave the T-Rex the win on my list over the Indominus Rex is just the nostalgia factor because like I said This dinosaur this specific dinosaur has a very special place in our hearts She's the in my heart at least it's the first time I ever was extremely wowed by a dinosaur This dinosaur is the dinosaur that got me into dinosaurs. Wow. I have no idea how many time I, times I said dinosaur but just an amazing, amazing animal. We've seen it. She's been aged. She has the scra uh, scratches on the side of her neck from the Velociraptors from the first film. She's just so interesting in the first film. And I'm so glad to see her return. And T-Rexes are just amazing in general. Just large animals. And I cannot wait for the supposed brawl between the T-Rex and I-Rex. So real quick, I have a couple honorable mentions. The Dimorphodon, the Pteranodon, the Baryonyx, and the Ankylosaurus are my, uh, and the Galapagosaurus are my honorable mentions. I really am looking forward to seeing all of those dinosaurs, but that's my list. Uh, it's just my opinion. Leave your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. I really want to know your list and why. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and have a good day.